I'm Daniel Dode. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a film editor based in London. Um, I was, I'm, I'm originally from South America, but uh, I'm also an Italian citizen, and, and I've been, but I've been working in London for many years now as a as a film editor. Um, I'm here in Faenza, in Italy, for the third time to work on this project, to work with Don Vittorio on um, Il Cello Sopra di Me, uh, and this has been a pretty a pretty fantastic experience so far uh, and it's also been completely different from anything I've, I've done so far uh, and definitely very different from the work that I do every day in London uh, working at a big facility with mainly commercial and, and, and broadcast projects so this really is quite um, quite a unique experience um, I think the, the things that the one thing that makes this quite unique is is very, the, the Gian Vittorio's very authorial uh, way of working. Like his whole method is completely different from uh, a more sort of standard um, way of producing moving pictures, be it for you know the f films or or TV or, um, or 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 whatever really. Um, the one thing that I find particularly interesting about it is, is, is he, he does he does shoot all his material in chronological order. So in terms of the edit um, of the film, uh, this has been a pretty fascinating experience to me so far, uh, and that is because following the fact that the story was shot in chronological order, one would expect that the the order the, the viewer experiences the story would be relatively the same. That you would you know the film would the story in the film would unfold in that same order. Uh, but it really doesn't and so far this is my third period of work of Gian Vittorio that I'm starting today and so far what we've been doing is just organizing the backbone of the film putting together the the the, the order not the order in which events happen because that is in the shoot already but the order in which people are going to see these events uh, develop and how they connect to each other and tie together in a in a plot um, and it really is. It really is quite a fascinating experience to see his brain working that out, and to see his his method of playing with what's already there, rather than playing with a shot that was made to fit in a certain place in an edit. Uh, so it feels much more spontaneous than uh, than than work tends to do in that in that in that way. And obviously that has got. Uh, the fascinating side to it, which means that the film is actually taking place in front of you rather than, than coming to you ready. But at the same time, it, it adds a massive layer of, of uh, you could say, insecurity to the process because you, you really don't know where you're going. You really, you really follow, you know, take, he takes you by the hand and makes you follow him through this maze of, uh, of possible stories that could be. Uh, uh, and, and, and that in itself is, is, is a pretty incredible experience. I think the biggest difference between uh, the work I've been doing with Gian Vittorio and, and the work I normally do uh, or, and, and the types of projects and the types of jobs that I get, normally get involved with is that uh, you, usually a director will go, um, a director will, will have a script and they will go out and, they, they, and it's all about the shots. So the shots will drive will drive how you put the film together, right? Uh, the, it, based on the way things were captured, the way pictures were captured and framed, uh, that it kind of determines to a certain extent how the narrative feels and, and, and where you go at each time with the story. And with John Vittorio that's, that's completely out of the window. His focus is, is completely not on, uh, even though those are important elements, it's completely not on the colour or on the framing, it's, it's totally about the narrative line and it's the narrative line that drives the camera moves and it's the narrative line that drives uh, the acting and ultimately it's, it's what determines everything and the montage is no different. Uh, with, with, with the editing with Gian Vittorio is, is, is completely about following the storyline or not necessarily just following a storyline that was pre-written but finding a storyline that is hiding in the picture is they're already there.